there is a century dual force just like that yellow one right there up for grabs a brand new free battery just going to read you something i'm going to call it uh the minimalist or travel light type thing with airlines charging us extra fees if we want to take our suitcase with us on vacation more people are learning to take less whether it's overseas trips or your interstate trips in the vehicle many seasoned travelers pack little more than a change of clothes and a toothbrush garments can be washed out in a sink at night and other supplies can be picked up as needed traveling with a half empty backpack is a liberating adventure the same is true of life the more we acquire the more we have to take care of everything requires attention and maintenance costs increase and escalating lifestyle brings accelerating pressure pretty soon our possessions possess us these are serious words guys stay tuned just a little bit more rather than being upwardly mobile why not deliberately downsize constantly declutter pour your money into external investments and live simply anyway so there you go you know you know what i mean we're talking about things like you know whether it's houses you know vineyards orchards whether you've got servants whether you've got herds whether you've got tools and toys jet skis and boats whatever treasures you've got um you know they not only cost money and keep you working hard forever and can put you under stress they create a lot of work is what i'm trying to say and um you know often real joy is found in the simplest acts like eating going out for lunch drinking spending time with friends talking or even on your own thinking and working hard and that's what we're about to do we've got some hard work to do we're getting this vehicle set up but like i said minimalist right so um you know just think about all those words even if you need to play it again from the start once we get to the end of this video because i can tell you right now right you don't want to fall into the trap the more things you have whether it's properties houses cars boats jet skis all your you know all your hobbies and all your gear for that if you can handle it then that's fine but just be warned the more you have the more pressure it creates we've heard about that it's been confirmed for a number of people over history so with this vehicle so the point to bring it to the vehicle is yes when we travel in the vehicle in australia within the state or interstate we need to travel light and it's about having less things and that's why i suppose it was relevant to bring it up again as we're doing this vehicle setup so when we travel in the vehicle there's a few things we do need so i always ask myself do we need it can we live without it type thing so the main things in this touring vehicle for touring australia are going to be as you can see here the dual battery we need an extra battery to run to keep the the food the right food fresh fresh food right you know your broccoli you know it's good for you you know this sort of thing the right food fresh you need to keep it cool so we need fridges to run fridges we need a battery we can use the other battery but it'll could get flat and it'll cause a big inconvenience so we need a battery it's something we need we need a charging system for the battery we're not up to that stage yet we need obviously power outlets at the back to be able to charge things like phones to communicate and to use our technology for mapping and that sort of thing mainly you know otherwise we'd, it'd be good to kind of shut it off wouldn't it and um storage system in the back so that we can fit everything in there all the bags and stuff like that while we keep trying to help the family understand we need to take less leave the hair dry at home it doesn't matter stop worrying about what people think about what you look like you're away on holidays you're on a trip you're camping you don't need the hair dryer okay this is the thing i you know the funny thing is i even get caught out sometimes i'll have this i'll say i'm going to pack a small bag and i'll i'll pack a bag and uh, uh it may be a small bag or a bigger bag and sometimes you just well i've got space in it like if i'm doing a trip on my own or just two of us and i'll I'll put a couple more things in. I've come back from trips where I've had basically a bag full because I was planning to go for about a month. And I go, I've only used two pairs of shorts and two t-shirts and two jocks. Basically, I've got my thongs or Crocs or whatever. And I've got a spare pair. I always have a spare pair in case you have a blowout or lose a pair, whatever. You know, they come off your feet and float down the river. <laughs> See you later, you know, then you're stuck with no shoes. So it's good to have spares. You've got to have your walking shoes as well. But um, the point is, this whole bag of clothes, in case it gets hot, in case it gets cold, in case this, in case that, you know, they're getting they're getting washed every day in a river for a swim or something along that a lot of the time. And if it's not that hot to do that, 
well then you can probably wear them for two or three days, can't you? Maybe change your jocks, you know? Or you can wash those out in a small amount of water if that's what you need to do. Anyway, we're getting into too much detail. The point is travel light. So a storage system, um, we're gonna have a roof rack obviously to carry more, more stuff so that we don't then have to tow a trailer, you know, the roof rack. So we can put the uh, Black Wolf Turbo, we can put the self-inflating mattresses up there, they're nice and light. <coughs> Excuse me, the morning. <coughs> Not not a bit of, <coughs> so you know what I mean. <coughs> um, you know, things like that. It's really, look, compressor you need. If you're going off-road, you need to be able to let the tyres down, pump the tyres back up so the compressor will go in. What are we at? We're about done yet, I think. You know, I can't think of too many. So roof rack, you know, a few basics like that. But believe it or not, it's going to be about 15 grand worth, you know, uh, retail, 15 to 20 grand worth with labour of hardware and installation. So there's a little hint. As I mentioned, this video, this uh, battery here, not this one, but one exactly the same as it, free, valued at about 400 bucks. But as I always tell people, you should wait till they're on special. I reckon about 300 bucks is a really awesome price and certainly a fair price. 400, I mean, you know, it's all right, but another 100 bucks doesn't really matter because you're going to use it for, you know, about five years, I'm guessing. They haven't been around five years yet, so I can't tell you how long, but. It's a good battery that it was designed to compete with the Optimus. That's why we're trying it out. It's a bit bigger capacity for the size. That's a 90 amp hour. We're running two fridges. We're running two drawers, so there's two compressors. The insulation is not very good. So it's actually like running two fridges on freezer in really hot conditions most of the time. They absolute, and they're just like any compressor in any other fridge. So they're really pulling this battery hard and it does the job. So it lasts overnight. It gets down to in the hot weather, you know, up in the, up in the Kimberleys and that the next morning we had the battery down to about 12 point, 12, 12 point two, depending, you know, what time of the day we switched the car off and if we bothered putting the solar on. So to give you an idea, you know, it does the overnight. That's all it needs to do. It's going to get driven the next day or the solar's going to go on. So it does the job running too. So why the hell would you need even more? That's why our Optima 55 amp hour does the job running one fridge, even for two days. We've demonstrated in other videos. I'm not going to go on about it. I just wanted to enlighten you a little bit, hopefully, and myself, reminding myself while I'm doing this, you know, do I need this? Do I need that? Because I still have these... You know, we're going to put suspension in. We want more clearance. We want a better ride. I suppose we could probably live without that. But you're going to cop underbody protection because everybody else has got a lift and the way the ruts are in the tracks. It's like people want to put bigger tyres. You can definitely get away without bigger tyres. 31s, the standard size tyres on a Prado and Hilux and stuff like that are fine these days and all the other vehicles mm -hmm. for that matter. That the, They've got the right size tyres on the vehicles. So we're going to do a few things that we don't need, but we're going to keep it to a minimum, minimalist. And we're going to remind ourselves after reading that once again, stop always wanting more. I need a bigger house. I need to fix this. I need to make that nicer. I need to redo this. I know you know what I mean? If you've got, if you're blessed and you've got the money and you can afford it, then go ahead and do it. Share it with everyone. Invite your friends, family, whatever. Um, share it with everybody. And uh, look, otherwise, don't work too hard to get things because it's short lived. It's not that exciting. Right guys, thanks for watching. Um, there's going to be a heap of videos and posts on Oz Prado crew mainly. A uh, little bit because it's a Prado, a little bit on Hi Oz Hilux crew, but um, probably not too much. Um, and mainly on our two YouTube channels, 4 Before Adventures and 4 Before Diesel, with the information you need, and that is the value of the hardware of each item that goes into this vehicle. And then at the end, we're going to see who has got the best, closest total, who answers first. Once I put up a post or a video, wherever it may end up being out of those groups and pages, we went through more details in our 4 Before Diesel channel. So hopefully you check that out. Hopefully this, I hope you liked what I read you at the start. If you did, hit the like button. Hope you like the information. Hope you like you're going to get a free battery or you're in the running to. There's not going to be that many people. Most people are going to go, oh, I'm not in Victoria. I can't pick it up. The other added thing is, I don't know if you're interested or not, you don't have to do this, but the winner is also going to get to choose um, from a day trip or a tech day. So we'll organise a tech day in the Prada Hospital on sort of whatever vehicle we can get our hands on or their vehicle and, you know, to, to educate them and uh, anybody else that wants to be there or a tech uh, a day trip, you know, pick your place within a distance of Melbourne. We'll do a day trip for the day. We can do it, you know, small group or bigger group, whatever, invite a few people along and get out for the day. Anyway, guys, hopefully uh, it all sounds good and you like that, hit the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe, turn the bell on so you don't miss out on both channels and you really need to be glued to them at the moment because over the next few weeks or month, I don't know how fast we're gonna get this done. Uh, we're waiting on some of the stock so we can't wire up 
the uh, back, the charging side of the battery yet. We can run the wires to the back. We can put the suspension, the wheels. There's things we can do. We're letting you know. Blow by blow. Thanks for watching. See ya.